Let's have a chat about the Crystal of Death, or Crystal de la Muerte, or the Necro Crystal, which is essentially Vivianite, which is the beautiful radial bluish-green material which was named after John Henry Vivian. Now before we get going, my name's Luke, and what I do is I teach people about crystals, minerals, geology, petrology, chemistry, physics, and all of the natural sciences that bring all of these wonderful manifestations of matter into existence. So if you're interested in that kind of content, then by all means follow us, because we've got in excess of 400 videos that will help you understand these beautiful things that surround me. Now, why do people refer to Vivianite as the Crystal of Death, or Crystal de la Muerte, or the Necro Crystal? Now, this is largely because of a biological process that happens when a body might shuffle off its mortal coil. Now, a body or a cadaver can become Vivianized. If you are a forensic pathologist, you might be vaguely familiar with this phenomenon. Now, a Vivianite crystal, for example, is comprised of iron, ferrous iron, and phosphorus, both elements which break down as a result of decaying organic matter. Now let's take phosphorus for example. Phosphorus is an element which characterises the hard parts of bones. So let's say you've got a body which has shuffled off its mortal coil. What will happen is that body will start to decompose. As this happens, both the elements iron and phosphorus will become present as an extension of this decomposition process. Now I'll give an example. Now during the Vietnam War, or at least after the Vietnam War, when the United States was trying to repatriate or repatriate um, a lot of the bodies that had sadly again shuffled off their mortal coil during that horrible war in East Asia. Bodies were found, especially notoriously amongst air crews that had downed in places like Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and because they landed in swampy environments, which are notoriously characterised by quite low levels of oxygen, which are sort of like germination ground or germination points for things like Vivianite, because they tend to form in very low oxygen environments. Because the bodies have essentially decayed and that phosphorus has been sort of been released into an exchange mechanism, a.k.a. water, in conjunction with iron breaking down, not just in the bodies, but in the, uh, the, the aircraft that they crash landed in, we find cadavers which were quite intensely vivianized. Ergo, the crystal of death. So the reason as to why people refer to Vivianite as the crystal of death is not because they've been harvested from dead bodies or anything like this. It's actually a tip of the hat to a fairly interesting biological phenomenon that happens as a result of the decay of organic matter. And that is includes, but is not limited to, the decay of human beings. Vivianite can form in various different places around the world. We find it in sewers. We find it in notoriously wet and sort of uh, low oxygen environments. We find it in sewers. The Kerch Peninsula in Ukraine, for example, is considered to be some of the best in the world. But how it has become quite famous and notorious is for this quite wonderful and remarkable and certainly very interesting biological phenomenon known as Vivianization. So if ever you hear someone refer to Vivianite as the necro crystal or the crystal of death or crystal de la muerte, that is where that comes from.